Welcome to another video by Sierra Tech on how to download and install an audiobook into your iPhone or iPod using iTunes. We are on the Back to the Summit website, a book written by past California State Senator Omar Raines, and he is graciously made his book available for free from his website for you to download and install on your iOS device. You may wonder where you access an audiobook imported from iTunes onto your iPhone and play it back. You use the iOS 7 music app to access audiobooks. This is iOS 7.1.2 on an iPhone 4. So I'll hit the music app, click more, and since I have not yet installed an audiobook into this iPhone, the audiobook subtitle does not show up in this menu. But I wanted to show you where it will show up once we install it. We want to navigate to the audiobook menu. And on this page, we have two different links for you to download the audiobook in two formats. You can download it in iTunes version or individual MP3 files, one file per chapter. This tutorial will use the M4B file as our download. We'll click on the link and you can see the name of the book, Back to the Summit M4B. Ignore this icon. This is what our computer sees as the associated player. Click OK. We recommend that you save it in your music folder under iTunes. iTunes Music, even though this is not a music file, it's just a good place to locate it. So we click New Folder. We'll call it Back to the Summit. Click Save. It's not a very big file, so it only takes a few seconds to download. And the download is complete. We click on the folder symbol to open the folder or location that the file resides. The browser we are using for this demonstration, by the way, is Firefox version 31. So our next step is now to import this into iTunes. So we're going to open iTunes. And we recommend that you have your sidebar view enabled in iTunes 11, which makes it easier to navigate between your iPhone and your library. If you're not sure how to do that, you can view one of our other videos within our Sierra Tech channel on YouTube to learn how to enable the side view. So we're under books in our library. Here's music, books. Click audiobooks. And what I'm going to do is I left the folder open. I'm simply going to drag this and drop it. 
we've now officially imported the audiobook back to the summit into iTunes library under the audiobook subheading. We are now ready to plug in our iPhone so we can add our audiobook. The iPhone will appear over here on the left hand side. Now you can see the iPhone has started to show up in devices. Okay. We select the iPhone and you should have manually manage music and videos checked. If you don't, be careful in checking that because it may want to delete all your current music on your iPhone. You can watch some of our previous videos on manually managing music and videos, which includes audiobooks. I'm going to click on books. And notice thus far we have no books in the iPhone. So go back up here to the library. I'm going to click this item and drop it onto the iPhone. Notice this is preparing to update. And it is spinning. So now you'll see that we're copying the audiobook onto the iPhone. And it's done. So now when we select books, you'll see the audiobook in place. So now we are going to demonstrate how to access the audiobook on the iPhone and play it. Now we will look at to see if the audiobook is visible in the music app. Select the iOS 7 music app, click more, and now you'll see audiobooks shows up as a subtitle item in this menu. Click the audiobooks, click back to the summit. And to start playing the audiobook, simply tap it. We hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the book Back to the Summit as much as we have. Thank you for watching.